Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And today, we're gonna be looking at another way to maybe drive the table on the Cincinnati 118. A couple people suggested, I believe it was Max Grant was the first one, to put a, you know, normal Bridgeport style, you know, 120 volt power feed on here. Now, obviously the bolt pattern is different. That's overcomable. The other side of this table has nothing. There's no plate, no, absolutely nothing. Remember, this machine was designed to be set up and do repetitive jobs. So it has a provision for a handle, but it's recessed on the other side. So that's not really a viable option to hook to. So I'm gonna do today is take this cover off, maybe end up taking this guy off. Let's see what it would do take to get a power feed hooked to it. Now, another limiting factor you see this lip right here I mean the drive the drive is flush here I ran this back till it's pretty much flush with that that's still gives me a good amount of travel because 99% of what this machine is going to be doing is cutting keyways most of the keyways I cut are like you know they don't get much longer than six inches if they do I use the big mill so it will limit the work table a little bit but, but not much so let's go ahead kind of pre-loosen this see what's under this cap set screw and I don't know if there's another cap anywhere I don't see one let me feel on the bottom here or another set screw, rather. Hmm. What is holding you on? Some light taps. Hmm. Let me go get the sockets that fit that, and I'll bring you back. Okay. Actually, wiggle this a little bit. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Okay. Hmm. It has a, as you can see, the tapered roller bearing in there. And this retention collar. That shaft is quite a bit bigger than, the, than those power feeds will take. Also, this machine has a automatic, well, it has a, a backlash eliminator. So the inner workings of this might be a little more, or obviously there's a little more to them than my uh, normal milling machine. So, hmm. I don't really want to take the rod out because this is the only side that has bearings. The other side's just the shaft showing up. I feel like they're under a great deal of pressure. Hmm. So yeah, let me uh, let me take a look at a few more things and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the mill. Here's what the other side of the table looks like. You can see the rod way back in there. And here's the provision for the hand crank. So I put this crank on there. This is off a shaper. I can turn it and turn the table. So I think what I'm gonna do It'll be the very easiest thing to do. Mm, excuse me. I'm going to put a coupler on this. A weld a pulley on it. Motor down there with the V-Drive. There's already a plate I can hook the uh, V-Drive to. And we'll just put a coupler on. I'll broach out a square in it. Uh, you know, get secured on there. And put a one horse motor or one and a half or whatever I got laying around. And uh, yeah, 
we'll just do that nice and simple and effective and completely you know removable and won't have to do anything with those the stuff on the other side sorry about the glare there and then in the meantime i'm going to put all the stuff back together and i did the hydraulics for the this will lift automatically with the switch right there so that stuff all works just I, when I was trying to get the hydraulics to feed the table, obviously I, the gears were missing, so it wasn't doing anything there. So yeah, I'll get a pulley. I'll order a, uh, a V drive this week. And we'll go from there because if this has a V drive on it and a, a way to move it, I put the overhead back, support back on. It's a hundred percent usable machine. I've got all the other parts. Let me around here real quick just got back from camping so I got some camping stuff out that's why the shops a little messy again this is all the uh, feed stuff for the uh, spindle as you may recall the table doesn't move this way on this just that moves in and out so far so yeah that's the game plan. I'll get the parts ordered, and I will bring you back when those parts come in. This is Adam for Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.